the transition point between your top row mm -hmm. and the press. Mm -hmm. I honestly think there's a halfway house for you because you've got such good back pressure yeah. where you don't go forward mm -hmm. to your press. S hold your pronator, drop your wrist a little, and more back pressure to get gr yeah. much better separation. Continue to bounce, and then on the breath, transition. And I think it's better. Yes, of course. With it's someone better. like Georgie. But, but, but when uh, I go to full increase, Georgie, uh, very excited. <laughs> yeah. My brain, uh, yes. not good work. Yes, uh, after uh, after fight, I have uh, a lot since we about... We were uh, <laughs> moments ago <laughs> about this. talking exactly, exactly this. Most guys in arm wrestling do not train scenarios do not train bad position. They train good position. They train to be strong in a spectrum of movement, mm -hmm. but without working. What happens when the shit hits the fan? What happens yeah. when it all goes wrong? And you're in this environment and everything's blowing up in your face. And it, the more people that can, if you, if you focus more on that mm -hmm. in the scenarios, it's a really effective. I say for you now what problem I have now. Before, mm. I'm trained only in my best position. Yeah, but mm -hmm. last years after when I uh, lose uh, Zerano, yeah, yeah, fight with Zerano, that was a great. I match. am change. I start training hook after pulling with Matt Mask. I start training flop press. Yeah, uh, after uh, when I pulled uh, with uh, Arif, I am trained very good uh, back. Yes, my back movement, and when I start uh, fight with Tvitko, mm -hmm. I have very good hook. Yeah, I have press. I have top roll. Uh, I have triceps press, and every moment I have maybe same power. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in one moment, I don't understand what I need to do now because I have a lot. Yes. A lot <laughs> techniques, yes. and this is uh, broke too, my too, head. Too many because, options. Yes, too many options. Because like you have a after, weapon, which shall I go after for? After first round, yeah. when I sit. I think about, okay, now go hook, no, no, okay, go, now go to pro, no, flop press, yeah. I need much better this, much better this, much better this, yes. and uh, I am destroy my brain you about... Know like, uh, you know, like in, in, in um, let's pick soccer, right, football, yeah. you would have a scenario where you might have four guys on the team that can take a free kick, but you look at who's going to take it based on who's in the defense for your opponent, how many guys they got to do with six foot five yeah. who can head the ball. You know, and it's this scenario planning that is important. And exactly what you're talking about there, if you get to a situation where you think to yourself, okay, if I'm going into this, and you know your opponent weeks before the event, 12 weeks out, you know exactly who you're going to pull, and you know their strengths and weakness, and you know what the likely scenarios are going to be should you lose that match. Yeah. I think that one of the things that most arm wrestlers miss is training that scenario. Training, okay, if it goes, if it goes tits in round one, this is what I've got, and narrow it down to three options, two options. Yeah. I think it would help dramatically, Bef big thing. I have very good plan mm -hmm. before for Zerano. I think maybe I'm going to hook with yeah. Zerano. I'm to fall or something like this mm -hmm. for not pulling with Zerano for hook. But after when I win two rounds first, like fast, yeah. I am believe I am best and when he go to hook, I think I win you in hook, and it's my big mistake. Yeah. Because uh, I have planned before hook, fall again, top roll. Mm -hmm. But I'm go to hook, and 40 seconds I pull with him in hook yeah. a long time, and uh, I'm my hook. It's not like uh, uh, tendons like this position. My hook is like top. Yeah, you, like, you, uh, you pronate, back. you yes, hold your pronator back yes. and then like yeah. this point. Your hook is the yes. hook of an intelligent man. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> that, no, for real, that's what it is. There's, there's brutal hook, there's caveman hook, yeah. and then there's intelligent hook. And what you're doing is an intelligent arm wrestler. Yeah. hook. It is. And after, when I stay long time, 40 seconds, I stay with him for mm -hmm. my uh, brachiradialis, my back, uh, fight uh, round number four. It's not possible for me to go sure. to the pro because it's decimated. Yes, yeah. but for Zerano, this is easy because he pulling not with muscles, he pull like tendons. Yeah, like this movement, and uh, it's not not tired, don't have pump. No, because yeah. the man yes. is built differently. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He have like this tendons. Yeah, <laughs> like a car seat belt. <laughs> yeah.
Unbelievable. But I have like this. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. Gerano or Vitali? Uh, Gerano. Really? Because for me it's uh, very good when Gerano win. I lose <laughs> only for Gerano, you know. <laughs> uh, in two time I win. 50-50. Uh, 50-50. Yeah, yeah, there's there's options for both. Two there's very good guys. For both. Two very yeah. good guys. Uh, both both guys. Uh, Incredibly different. It's uh, guys who pulled uh, many times. So one times win Zerano five years ago. Mm -hmm. Win Lalitin. Zerano Lalitin World Championship. Yeah. 100 kilograms. I pull with yeah. uh, uh, these both guys in World Champions. In Bulgarian 2016 years, yeah, yeah. in 100 category, I have five, place number five. Uh, Zerano first, Lalit in second. Yes. But yeah, now the, the we funny see. thing is, well, both guys right now are on the ascendancy. Both guys are evolving right now. Both are better, probably bigger than they've ever been. Zerano, I don't know what the fuck. But Zerano have amazing on. progress. My God. Like last, yeah, last years. A tank. Same me. Same me. Yeah. For One year ago, I'm with Matt Musk, not possible pulling. <laughs> You're very, very good. strong right now. Yes. Very Training focused. very smart. But yeah. I'm pulled with him 150, now I'm 128. Is that what you weigh now? Uh, 28. 128, yeah? 28. Wow, yes. you carry that good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Look fit. fit yes, he does. He doesn't look heavy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, look, doesn't look in bad shape at all. Once yeah, I more. like this. I like when you without fat. You want to go more? Or stay? 140. 140. For me, I have planned for one, maybe maybe two years, try uh, my power in super heavyweight category. Yep. You haven't subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Subscribe and don't miss any of our great content. Because I know for me 150 kilogram, maybe I am, 100, I am top five. Maybe top three, yeah. Because uh, it's my weight, mm -hmm. 115 kilograms. Uh, I'm not a real uh, super heavyweight. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 115. So kilograms. let me ask you a but question. I won't try and see my place in super do you, heavyweight. Do you think that you, you, to win in the super heavyweight now, you have to just be unbelievable power, or do you think it's possible to be a way better arm wrestler? Do you think you can you can win with just being a much better arm wrestler than most people? Um, Against who? Uh, say again. Does uh, he does he feel that in the super heavyweight division, to win, you have to have the highest level of power? Or do you, do, is it possible for victories to come by being a superior technical arm wrestler now in the super heavyweight? Because even at 140 kilos, if you look at Kalina's frame, he's not so big. And some of the guys like Laletin is a fucking giant. Yeah. There are some guys in there, but maybe you can be just superior technician. There's a guy that's coming to Strongman, right? Name is Mitchell Hooper. Yeah. And you look at Mitchell Hooper and Mitch Hooper walks in here tonight and you'd be like, yeah, he's big, he's powerful, but he doesn't look so big. You know, he looks big, but not ridiculous. There are guys way bigger but as a complete package Hooper is incredible and he's doing remarkable things and it makes you think it makes you wonder who's going to do that in arm wrestling John Brzezink used to do it to a, to a degree who's next uh, I understand I understand uh, I think uh, it's possible mm. but uh, only near to Levan like second place okay it's possible win everybody but Levan. Yes, because Levan pulled with Devon Larat. Mm -hmm. Best of the best uh, technical guys. And here with Levan, it's... Let Levan, me ask you a question. See, I, I, I agree that if you're looking at well-roundedness for technique, Devon articulates technique as well as anyone, understands technique as well as anyone. But that does not say that the manner in which he pulled Levan is the best. And it does not mean that he is designed best to beat Levan. Make sense? Makes sense. 
And I don't believe but Devon is actually the best Lewan, design Lewan for now that. Not only power guys. Mm -hmm. Lewan now brilliant technician. Mm. He yes, he really have good. very yes. good hook. He very complete. Flop press. Yes. He have top roll. Now he very smart. Yes, super he heavyweight puller. And he reads and the ma he reads the It's possible well. everybody win, but with Lewan yes. not need very good technique. The biggest problem and for power. Devon with Levan, and I've spoken to Dev about this, is that he is statically strong. He attacks in a static fashion, whether that's defensively static. Yeah. What that allows is for your opponent to always have a balance point, to always have a position from which they can counter. The most dangerous guy for Levan may be lightning in a bottle, Nerdalet. <laughs> But a big fucker. Imagine if Nerdalet weighed 150 kilos, mm -hmm. but that kind of explosivity power, because there's a point where yeah, it makes sense. if you get hit, yeah. you just get fucking hit. You know what I mean? And it's fine saying, oh, you just need to do this to defend against it. But if it came with that much speed and that much commitment, I don't know. I'm a believer that I don't know. there's a point where if you are yeah. fluid enough and fast enough, you can beat yes. anybody. Yes, yes. I really believe that. Yes, I think, I think it's the same. I think there were signs of that, yes. signs <laughs> of that with Hermes. Even though Hermes has a one-dimensional approach in many ways, he actually ended up doing things that he doesn't do. But there was enough there in his attack to show that everyone is mortal. Everyone is beatable. I don't believe that anyone is, can't be beat. I just don't believe that. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. There's more will come. Yeah, more will <laughs> yes. come. But uh, it's an interesting point. Um, I wonder who, who will t pick up the gauntlet next. Who do you think should face him next? Who do you think should be Levan's next opponent? Next opponent? Yeah, most worthy. Следующий после Кардолета. Yeah. Now after, I think. After Jerry or after yeah, Jerry? After we, Jerry. Know, we know that Jerry's next. Yeah. Yes. Who, who is following Jerry? Let's say. If Levan is successful against Jerry, he goes in as a heavy favourite. Who's the most worthy opponent from the chasing pack? Mm. Is it the winner of for the real? Italians for real? Own? For real? My opinion, nobody. Yeah. For my opinion, nobody. You think nobody's close? Nobody close. Uh, now only Jerry Cadretta have chance because of the because he have different. Uh, yeah, unique. Uh, unique. Only yeah. he. You think but Michael us, Todd? No. But other guys, Michael Todd? No. Hey, Brooke, <laughs> arm for Michael Todd, uh, for maybe Michael Todd open. Too much press have now uh, Levan. Mm -hmm. Too much flop press. But flop press from the center, but from here, but, and uh, uh, stand up? Michael Todd, uh, I don't know, he don't have, he have very good open, uh, open back uh, pressure but not close back pressure. It's not possible, for my opinion, for uh, Michael Todd to stay here and uh, like uh, do mm -hmm. this movement. Uh, Michael Todd, it's like movement like this. Well, it, the one thing that it's difficult to envisage Mike getting because of the scale and s size of the guys is any kind of hand control. So he would have to go through quite ugly. He would have to go through him in a difficult way. Apart from the unimaginable where he goes, he doesn't try to go out, he goes further in. Maybe, That's brave as hell. But maybe it's Michael Todd, but not now. Yeah, it would have to be now. a different one year, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. One year for really Michael Todd. Na, Todd now have I think best shape, best uh, mm -hmm. power in life. Mm -hmm. But he really old man. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why this not happened ten years ago? If this mm. happened now, because he no, you're now right. he is old. more good training. More understand. Uh, arm wrestling have big progress. We have new handle, new exercise, and you and he. Like, how it goes in the knee, короче, with progress. He steps together with, with how arm wrestling. Yes, he moves. He evolves. Yeah. He it's don't evolved. try like biceps like this or something like this. He do only very good yeah. movement, yeah. arm wrestlers movement. He smart guys. And maybe after many years, we see something unbelievable with Michael Todd. He certainly committed. But uh, we'll see. Michael has got a never say die attitude he's unbelievably committed and that's a big part of the game who wants to who wants to go that hard who wants to go that extra mile we'll see 
Yeah. And, uh, you know, when uh, now, now we have uh, uh, Steam Self, mm -hmm. and this is give for old atlas, atlets uh, opportunity uh, to get, get, keep being healthy. Injury because everybody yes. have like 20 years uh, or 30 years uh, career arm yeah. wrestling. A lot injured shoulders, yeah. elbows. This is not give for power. No. Uh, this is not this is give for you zero power, but possible for recover your injury. And uh, maybe when guys like Michael Todd don't have injury, it's possible. Never stop progress. Never stop progress. Very interesting. Because yeah. we're stopping only way we have injury. Mm -hmm. When I don't have injury, I am trained and have progress one month, two months, three months, yes. four months. After when I have injury, it's like one year. Yes. And after you again, snakes and again, ladders. Again, again, yeah. yes. Maybe you climb the ladder. Yes. You hit injury. You know, maybe it's give for uh, everybody in this world uh, yeah. possible to bench press 500 kilograms. Mm -hmm. Maybe after five years, because you don't have injury, you'd never stop. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Exciting. Beautiful time. time. Beautiful yeah. time. Yes, it is. <laughs>